Okay, so we're fully painted black. Everything's primed. Everything's pretty dry. Not 100%, but pretty set. I mean, I could probably still pull some of these off of here if I really tried because it's only been about four hours. And the gel medium does need a good amount of time to harden. So I'm going to do a overall color on the background. Now, this takes me a while. I don't like to rush it. i am got so much free time right now being in quarantine. I still have like another four weeks off. We're in the second week in April, and I've been off since the second week of March. And I don't even think our governor's going to announce tomorrow if he's extending it past uh, April 30th, the quarantine. And in my job where I'm working in someone's mouth, we're going to be the last people to go back to work because we can't stay away from people. So I got plenty of time. So why rush the process? Enjoy the process of painting it black, okay? So I'll probably speed this up. To get some overall color right off, I'm going to start with some sprays. And I haven't used these in so long. I even have cobwebs growing on them. So I have different. These are all the ones I have. I have some from uh, Lindy's Art Spot. And they're metallic sprays. Um, I also have some of these Delusions by Ranger sprays. They're metallic as well. So I'm going to kind of, I think I was going to stick to the purple blue theme and I'm going to be misting and dabbing and whatever over and over. And when that's going to be completely dry, I think I'll come back later. We can use watercolors. You could use acrylics. You can um, water down acrylics and put them in a, in a spray bottle. Um, I think I'm going to use pastels after. We're going to dry brush brushes with white acrylic. So we're going to do all kinds of things after. This will just give me initial coloring. And you can use acrylics. Use what you have. Just have fun. So I think I'm going to speed this up because, again, I like to enjoy the process. So this will probably take me 10, 11 minutes. Um, but you don't need to watch me do it over and over. Okay? Just quick interlude here. These can get plugged up fairly easily. And that's what you were seeing where what was happening with the Ranger ones from sitting for so long. I'm finding, and again, I'm not totally experienced with sprays. I've used them, um, you know, maybe 10 times. I've used sprays maybe 10 times. I could go upstairs and try to flush these holes out. Um, but it seems like the Lindy's do better yeah because like nothing's happening with this one I hear it want to spray but it's not so I'm just gonna splash it because I'm gonna add white on top of this they're really beautiful sprays don't get me wrong at all but they just plug up easily. So I hope my white, because I have a Ranger white one, I hope that one sprays. Because I have a homemade one too. So if it's plugged, I would go upstairs to the sink and try to flush out the tube. Because it's like mica powder in a sprayer. So this is the Delusions white linen. I hope it... Woo. Which I wanted to mix a lot of it, but I didn't want it to angle up. It's like angling up at all my extra stuff on the side here. So I wanted it to, that's why I did black. So I could go on top of the black with the color and kind of blend it all around. And kind of move it. Almost like people move uh, acrylic paintings, the pore paintings, how they move it all around. That's what I'm going to do with this. Let it get in all the nooks and crannies and stuff. Let 
think I'm going to dab some of this up. It was just a product I saw <clears throat> a couple years ago people were using in the mixed media field that I bought. Does not mean you need to go buy them. I do not use them all the time, that's for sure. Um, but I have them, so I might as well use them. I'm sure you could achieve a background with anything, honestly. And we're going to go on top of this as well. I have waxes, all kinds of things. I just took some paper from a shoe box and put it down. Now this is, I think, I believe water soluble. So when you put other paints on top of it, it's gonna pick up. And like if I dry brush white on top of this, it's gonna start to pick that up. Let's see if this. have much of these Lindy's ones. I do have like this steel color. Let's see. It's kind of a silvery. I haven't used this one yet. Ever. Get things to bleed around a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. I might tap more off here and there. I like the puddling that it's going to do around things. I, I do like that. I'm going to let it do its puddling. And then when this is completely dry, and I can use my heat gun to speed it up. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm just going to let it sit and do its thing or if I'm going to speed it up. But when that's done, I'll come back and we'll color some more and just have fun with coloring and then we can add stuff on top when all the base coloring's done we can add the embellishments on top and I think I changed my mind about one thing which I'll show you when we get there it's kind of nice about the heat gun is you can blow things around a little bit or a hair dryer even if you wanted to so I am drying it with my heat gun I don't want to touch the mask because I like the way it's actually pooling in the mask so I'm not going to mess with that too much from far away maybe, but not from close up because I don't want to push it off. And remember, as things dry, they usually show up differently. It'll be a little more glittery. So let me dry this. <clears throat> 
Okay, so I wanted to try using these. I've had these for a while. Stuff like this does not go bad. I would rather not buy myself a coffee every morning, buy myself a breakfast, what, six bucks a morning every day, um, plus lunch or whatever. I would rather skip that stuff and buy art supplies. And I can keep this for years and years and years. So no, these art supplies I have not collected one time or another. This is over years. I've always been into crafting, many types of craft, knitting, crochet, cross stitch, um, uh, mosaics, wood burning, oil painting. I've just collect craft supplies because that's what I like to spend my money on. So I have these. These are um, from Prima and these are uh, water soluble oil pastels. So they turn into like a watercolor almost, which is cool because I don't have any watercolors right now for some reason. So I'm going to use some of these and see if I can bump up some of this middle here. Now, I don't know if you can see uh, how shimmery that is. In real life, it's very shimmery. And it's not 100% dry, but it's like you can see it's still really wet up here. But it's dry enough for me to add more water stuff on top of it. So with these, I'm just going to kind of color in a little bit and then I'll spread it out with water. Now, I haven't used these, but I believe... I had a cheaper set of these when I was a young kid. My mom, not a young kid, but a teenager. I always got craft stuff for Christmas. Um, and I had something very similar to this from Michael's. And I don't remember. It was uh, water-soluble crayons. And I used to just kind of color. And then it turns into like watercolor. <clears throat> no, I started running there when I picked it up. Let's see what it will do on top of the plastic here. We'll see. And then you just kind of take a brush and wet it. Let's see what happens. And we'll just kind of spread that around. Let's see what it does. And it's probably going to reactivate the spray a little bit for sure. When that dries, I'll see if that bumped up the color that I wanted. I just want it to flow and do its thing. I don't want to look like I'm... directed it. I just kind of want it to pool around things. And... And I also think I'm going to use some uh, stuff later to darken the corners. Some inks. They're definitely neat, but just let, let go. Get out of being right or wrong and just enjoy and have fun. Okay, let me dry that. So it's the next night. Everything should be good and dry by now. And I think I'm going to gesso this. So what's fun about white gesso is, um, or about using a white acrylic or a black if you were doing a light colored canvas or white on a light colored canvas Doing a dry coat kind of helps to bring out things and it just looks more rustic and, and stuff. So um, dry brushing is an acrylic technique you can use with really any acrylic, but you're not going to put much paint on the brush. It's dry brushing. So just get a little bit of the paint 
and tap it off in the cap. I probably need a little bit more than that. And just get a little bit. You don't want to saturate your bristles. And then I find it's easier going with with the canvas, like more uh, horizontal with like parallel to it. But go however you want. Just kind of flick strokes. Just flick. And this will help later for me to color on top of this. It will lighten it up some. Now you can apply as much or as little as you want or none at all. Um, also, a lot of the stuff I just used, you can, I don't know if you can see that in the cap there, it's a little purple, is water soluble. So it's going to start to pick up and leach some of the purple into it, which is kind of neat that it does that. So I'm just picking up some of the texture. I'm not looking to paint it 100% though. That's not my goal. And you, depending how bright you want this, you might have to do multiple coats. So I might do a couple coats of this and then I may also, um, and you see the white is picking up the purple. I don't know, for some reason it looks really washed out to me on camera. But it's actually quite bright purple. It's probably just my lighting. Hmm. But it's picking up a lot of the purple. Let me do this and see if it'll show up. Like at first it's pretty white. See how white that is compared to this up here? And then I'll start to drag up some of the purple from underneath it. It'll start to soak it up. So depending how much texture you have on your background will be kind of neat to, to highlight some of it. I really hope you guys can see that. And this is little texture, like on the other backgrounds where I stamped on like big flowers. It was easier to pick it up. See it there, picking it up. This is like really purple in real life, but on camera, it's not picking up really well on camera. I don't know, we'll see when I edit it if I can do something about it. <clears throat> so you can do a lot of this or just a little bit of this you know you can really go for it or not or you know actually have streaks ever you want to do oh my bob ross quote this week for this month is let's just dance in a happy little sky today <laughs> for my bob ross calendar there's a quote on every month of things he said Let's just dance in a happy little sky today. My mom, she's funny. Because she bought me Bob... Uh, she still buys me Bob Ross stuff. Because when I was a kid, I loved Bob Ross. And don't worry, even these streaks that I may leave, it'll pick up the purple in the background. So I might add a couple more coats. God, I wish it really showed up the way it looks in real life. So I don't know if you can really see any of that, but in real life I can. And then I'm going to use some waxes on top of it, too. I have um, these Finnabar Art Alchemy waxes. Um, this is the Amethyst Magic. Now, 
sometimes on waxes you'll get this what looks like mold but it's not it's just the product separating I would just wipe that off so I haven't opened this one in a while and you can just get rid of some of that but there's all different brands like these are one these ones are pretty expensive I guess um, I've also got like these Metallic Luster by DecoR, and I have a couple other brands. But I thought this amethyst color would look good. You can see it there. So I'm just going to do it with my finger. You could brush this on or whatever. Now this is a metallic wax. You could dry brush with a metallic if you wanted to, say. If you wanted to like do what I just did with the white but with a, a metallic paint. You know, you could also apply this, say you want to apply it with a brush. I don't know. Do I got a brush close? Maybe a fan brush? These have a smell to them, like a perfumey kind of smell. It's kind of odd. And I, part of me likes it, but part of me doesn't like it. I also have this other color called Blue Velvet. It's their Opal Magic. And I don't know if you can see it on the lid there shimmering. This shows up really well on uh, black. Where did I put my paper towel? I have no clue what I just did with that paper towel I had. Let me just wipe my brush off a little bit. So these opals look really pretty on, on black type stuff. And you can let this set, these waxes set, and do another coat if you want. So I'm just using whatever colors I have. I also have some blue. I don't know.
Remember, most of this is going to be background, but I want to get it done before I start putting stuff on top of it. These opal magic ones don't look like much, but when you move it, that's when you kind of see the sheen to it. But in per like when it's lying flat like that, I don't know how much of that you guys actually are seeing. Okay, is my background good enough? Good enough. Okay, so one, I should get my hot glue gun going. Oh, I also had some of this black, this one, this deco art. Let's see what this looks like. Who doesn't love shimmery? This may look like horrible too. This may not come out good either. I have no clue. I'm bored and I've been stuck at home for four or five weeks and the governor just, <clears throat> right now, it is the 10th of April, and he just extended it until May 15th. So, I'm stuck home for another month, and I've already been home for four or five weeks. So, my other thought with this, instead of putting this on the side, as I thought, what if I, and I haven't cut it yet, because I haven't decided, what if I, and I wish I could get opinions from people right off. Stick this and glue it in back there. Might look cool, I thought. The other thing I was thinking is I have paper flowers. I could fill in the eyes with flowers. So I was still planning on using this silver one, which again, what I was going to put wax over it. I was going to put this here and then I was going to potentially, if I want to put this one under here. Okay. Just kind of get it under there. I would cut it obviously. I would jam it under there like that. And then Eventually, I'd probably put one of these here. I can also coat this in some of this opal magic on top of this. On top of this lace here. You see it right there? God, I wish she showed up better.
just like glitter and like when I did those faux abalone those don't show up as well on camera either but the people who have used and bought that faux abalone loved it at home a whole bunch of people made those and said they were so beautiful but they don't show it on camera it just they, every time they posted pictures they were like it just the camera doesn't do it justice and I'm like I know my video didn't do it justice like they really look beautiful they really do Oh, that was a little much there, but it's okay. That will lighten this up a little bit and give it some reflective. Now these waxes do set permanent. I don't know, maybe you can't see it. I don't know. I can totally see it. Uh, well, you can see it a little bit on camera. So I was still thinking of putting this one here. And then I was going to put something like this here. If I, that would be easier if I... Well, and the other thing I was thinking, if I don't do the bling, what if I do a row of this over here? Like that, on the edge, obviously, of it. I think that might look pretty. And then I also have um, paper flowers that I can either dye to match. I mean, I still have this gold sequiny thing. <clears throat> Let's see. So I think that's too much. Yeah, that's too much for me. But I have, I bought a bag of white paper flowers here that I could dye with spray coloring or acrylic paint or whatever. And I was thinking possibly of sprinkling those around. You know, a couple up through here. Or, okay, that was another thought. Or there was a thought process of what if I fill the eyes in? With, well, that one's too big, but fill the eyes in with flowers and kind of make it like kind of Day of the Dead-ish. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't like that personally. But I have all these kind of like paper flowers and I can make more polymer clay ones. So I might do something like this. I'm actually kind of liking where this is going. So let me get my hot glue gun turned on. And we'll start putting some embellishments on top. Like I said, you can make things out of polymer clay. Now, granted, these were not for this project, and I made these a long time ago, but these are flowers that I just made out of polymer clay. Now, this is Sculpey 3, and I made them for another project. And I made a couple little ones here, and these can be painted. And then I made some black ones. I was just playing around. This is when I first started with polymer clay. This is what I was doing. I was building flowers like this. That I could then paint afterwards. So I don't know. See if this thing's warm enough. Barely. 
Oh, and my cord is caught. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is mainly apply with gel medium and then buff it up with a little hot glue just to get it more stuck. Down, so I'm just going to spread a little gel medium on here. More on the edge because that's, I don't really want it stuck on these edges. On the frilly edge, I want that to be movable and loose and... And this is a pretty simple background. I really don't have much going on in this background. Just a couple stamps and things. First, let me get it on there. I want this edge, like I said, to kind of move. And I can cut this more even afterwards. I left it a little long in the beginning to be sure that it was where I wanted it. And I'm going to take a little hot glue right here on the edge. And right here on the edge. while the gel medium dries. And I mean, obviously I'm not gonna take the hot glue off, that will just help secure it in place while the gel medium is doing its thing. Okay, so we have that done. Now we need the chain. And I mean, you could use like, I have tacky glue, I could use that because that has a nice little bead I could put. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting wax all over my face. And then remember, this will dry clear. But use whatever glues you have. Even like Elmer's glue probably would work for this kind of stuff because none of it's heavy. You know, while you're at home, just, you know, if you're home with the kids and you got a bunch of cardboard, you could lay down pieces of cardboard instead of plastic stuff like this and overlap them or cardstock and, you know, just kind of do whatever you want with container circles, you know, with contain old use container tops or medicine tops or whatever. <clears throat> You know, that's the fun about mixed media is you can really use whatever you just have. So, you know, it's good projects with the kids because you just grab a whole bunch of old junk packaging and and stuff and bring it all together with color and see if you can make anything cool. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Either way, the kids will probably have fun and like it. As long as they made it, they they don't care if it looks purdy or not. Okay. Again, this one's a little long too. Hot. Obviously, if you're using hot glue, have a bottle of or a little thing of water there. My great uh, my grandma, when we did see them when we were little kids, my nana, she worked at Joanne Fabrics, and she would have all these little wood chips, and we would make, like, circles, just flat circle, wood circles, and we would make, like, panda bears and teddy bears, and we'd use a hot glue gun all the time when I was, like, seven or eight. And you could even take this chain... I could make some swirls on the canvas if I wanted to. Okay, so let's first add this guy here. Actually, I should probably get this going. I kind of like it double layered, but 
I think one layer will be fine too. So let me just cut out some of this. Is it even wide enough to go this way? How much does that leave me? Not much. I should actually go the other way. So I have more to glue down. I'm just cutting the ends off because it'll be easier to tuck in. But this would even make a cool texture on a background and then paint over it, honestly, because it's textured. Um, sheet rocking tape, that mesh sheet rocking tape you could use. And a background, like I said, just squares of cardboard, um, container tops, old packaging, um, old ribbon paper, uh, bubble wrap. You can tape down and paint over bubble wrap with gesso. Anything fun like that. So get creative. We're all in quarantine together and we're all kind of suffering this together. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some gel medium on this. Which should hold it enough as long as I don't push on it until it sets. I'm just going to make sure I get enough on these corners here. I need like a towel or something. <laughs> I don't have anything near me except for these nail wipes. I don't know where my paper towel just went. I don't know if I'll need some hot glue on that as well just to get it to stick quick to hold where I want it. If I would have thought about that before, I would have used it before. Or I would have put it on before I glued the mask down, but I didn't really think of it before. Now let's see if I can get this under there with a hot glue still. Because it's not a good hot glue gun. It doesn't get that hot, actually. That should work. I don't work that fast on crafts. I know some people do, but I feel like when I'm on video, I rush. I wouldn't be rushing this. I'd be taking my time and enjoying gluing things down, you know? Okay, I need a baby wipe paint on. Okay. Because I got some gel medium on where it's showing. I want to wipe it off. Cool. Okay. And let's put on this guy. And a little bit of both. Now again, with gel medium, if it pushes through all these cracks, you can wipe it off um, with a brush. Again, just use a junk brush. See? You can wipe that off with your finger or a brush or whatever. But I think I'm going to put a gem in the middle of this, too, so. Let me get a... I don't really have any... I have these clear crystals, but I have other gems that I might want to eat. I have these, like, clear beads that you put in vases, vase fillers also have like little sequins that I could use. I 
Let me grab some of those. That might look cute. So I have some of these that I got for really cheap on sale. And then I also made a long time ago these faux druzy type things. That might look cute in the center of that flower. I don't have a purple one, but I have a blue. Or I have a white. It's about the only size that I have. Maybe I should wait until it's all on there because I might put more. Okay, so we got that and that. What else was I going to put on here? I need some more stuff. <clears throat> Let me see what flowers I already have. So I have these. It's a black one that I could use. This white one I think actually would kind of go. I have more I can color again with acrylic paints if I need to. These two, nope. I bought them in tan because then I can paint them easily. I tend to buy them in white and stuff so then I can paint them. Here's another black one. Another white one. I have these little ones too. Nope. Too much of a pop of color for me on this. And I have all these little ones, so let's see. Box or something, and just missed them with some of that spray color. Mm, where'd that bag of them go? Right here. Because I think these are way too bright. probably leave these black ones I'll paint the rest of these I think I might do something like that actually oh you can't see that upper corner I don't know. Okay, let me color these. I think I'm going to, because I just can't see what they look like. Let me color these up and see. So I'll use the same spray color I used on the background. I just kind of missed them a little bit with some water just to get them dyed a little bit. And I might even, no, I'm okay with the gold on that. I might even spray these too just to get the white so not white because there's not much white in this. Now it's still drying, but that's what I got from spraying them with the same Lindy's spray. But I have these Adirondack or Ranger archival inks. And this is the Majestic Violet that I got in the set. I want to see if I can get, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to see play. Hmm. 
Looks like the black from this is leached out into a few of these bigger ones. Darken that up there and then put a couple of these guys on top. Maybe you'll see them better. They got really shimmery from the Lindy's, which is cool. Okay, so I might glue these down. Just go for it type thing, because I've rearranged them a couple different ways, but. push it come on I had to push it with my teeth I was gonna put that one somewhere up here oh let's redo that Because it's off. Pause. Okay, should be good now. And again, things I've just collected over the years. Not a big fan of hot glue. And it's maybe because I just have a cheap little $10 hot glue gun. If I had a nicer one, it might be better. I want to see if one of these light ones goes up here. Or if I should really kind of try to dye one. I think that's the only purple I have. I have some blue too. This is manganese. Fun. Yeah, why not? It's fun. Change a couple colors of these. Cool. That one's already glued down. This one I thought... If I get these strings off my fingers. This one I thought I was going to stand up a little bit. Maybe a smaller one. One of these. on the straw. I'm running out of room. do whatever you want this is for my people who like to watch people craft though I'm trying to keep this short because I, I just uploaded as you guys know while I'm stuck at home 
uploading videos on my internet at home is very, very slow going. And I just uploaded um, a pendant I'll be showing you before this video. These. It was an hour and seven minute video. I started uploading it at 11 p.m. yesterday and it didn't finish till six o'clock. Oh, uh, yeah, 11, before midnight. Right before midnight, I started uploading it and it didn't finish till six o'clock, like for the six o'clock news. It's ridiculous. So I don't know, what was that 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 19 hours or so. Took forever. What if, do I have a pink in here? change the color a little bit. See, I like to watch people craft step by step. I just enjoy right before bed instead of watching a TV show. I like to watch people craft and not everybody does. They just want to learn how to do something. Tell me how to do it. And that's all I want. Well, not everybody likes that. Oh, that one came apart. Well, that's okay. I like to watch people craft and listen to them and fall asleep to their voices. And a lot of my subscribers like that. They say that to me all the time. I fall asleep to your voice all the time. And they enjoy that um, relaxing in bed with a creator. So, you know, this may not be for everybody. And not everybody may even do anything like this. It may come out super ugly. I have no clue. But I'm killing time. Cool. ball gonna come off yep good cool so my flowers are on get my inks closed up now let's talk about now, there's all other kinds. Of, you can keep adding kinds of stuff. I mean, you can go for it all you want. Let me see. I have these white ones. Will these look cute here and there? I'm trying to keep a focus. Obviously, you can see I'm trying to bring the eye. No, those are too big, aren't they? Okay. I have these clear face fillers, which I could just add some of these little dew drops here and there. You can make little dew drops with the um, hot glue gun too, which I did in that fly one, those little balls I... I made little balls like this with the hot glue gun. I even have different size ones of these. Let me go grab them. Hang on. So these ones are specifically called Melange Art Pebbles by Finnabar. Now, you can buy all kinds of these things these clear cabochons um, 
in art stores. Like, like I said, I got all these little ones from, and they had different size vase fillers. So you don't need to buy these expensive ones. I had them because I didn't know what else to get at the time. And I didn't realize I could, these are too big, buy the like base fillers and they were the same thing pretty much. These are plastic. The base fillers are actually glass. Get rid of some of these big, big ones. I like those. Let's put a couple of those on. And these are vase fillers I just put in a pickle jar because they came in a bag from Michael's in the um, vase and flower section. Now, am I going to use hot glue or am I going to use... I'm going hot glue. Ooh. If I actually used um, gel medium, it will work too because it goes clear. Oh, get down there. Shit. Oops. Shoot. I can't get it. Hang on, they're stuck together now. Because it's sticking to my glove. Like I said, these are glass, which is super handy. Because I'm not sure if that would have peeled off the plastic like that. Because they're really little. Oh, you know what I should do? Put the dot on the canvas. First, you can worry about getting the hot glue off that later. The problem is, I don't think this hot glue dries clear. I don't think my hot glue, gl glue dries clear. I don't think so. The rest of these I'm going to apply with gel medium that I know will dry clear. See, I only get flustered when I'm on camera. Like, I honestly wouldn't mind that these are sticking to my fingers if I wasn't on camera. But I know I gotta rush because I'm on camera. Maybe I shouldn't have even recorded this. It's not what you guys normally see me do. But a lot of you like, you tell me, I'll watch you paint, I'll watch you do whatever you want to do. You guys have told me that many, many times, or a lot of you have. So, I figured if I was going to go outside the norm... Might as well show you, and maybe I'll give you something to do while you're bored. Because I guarantee a lot of you aren't just polymer clay artists. I guarantee you a lot of you have been crafters all your life and have miscellaneous craft supplies. I just started binge watching Outlander when I was on break and I didn't realize I read like two of the books audiobooks a long time ago but I, I didn't start with number one I didn't realize it was a series and so I bought one of the books it was on sale and I got so confused I had no clue what was going on and when I it sounded familiar I looked back and I was on I started with book eight I'm like no wonder why I was so freaking confused during that book Ooh, look, and it's activating some of the paint underneath it, so it's turning purpley. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Okay. And then I also have these pearl-type things. I 
I was thinking maybe one of these in here. Like that. <laughs> One of these turquoise ones to give a nice pop of color. And they're sticky, but I still think they need a little more stick. I wish I had a small nozzle hot glue gun, like a small tip one. They make ones with like tiny little tips. <clears throat> Stuck to my glove. Cool. Oh, I have one more thing I was going to add to this. That's what I was going to do. Okay, hang on. Let me grab it. Okay, so I have blue feathers, which I could totally, but I didn't like that when I was playing. So I have these pipe cleaners in purple. I was thinking about possibly jamming one or two of those in there. They didn't really look right. Let me show you one straight. So I bent it in half. Right. And that's what it looked like straight. I don't know if I liked it straight. So I kind of wrapped it around my finger and twirled it. And these are really deep purple in real life, but on camera they're looking kind of fuchsia -y. So I didn't know if I should put them over there and again, keep my eye over there more. Or is this pulling your eye in too many places? Let me think about this. Hang on. Okay, I think I'm going to do it. And I know it looks maroon on camera, but it's not. It's this really nice purple. So I think I'm going to do it. And I've kind of twisted the bottom together. I just I kept playing with them over here, having one, two, three. It's just too much over here. So I want something else over here. I think I'm going to do it. And I think I'm going to just... And then I can fuss with them later and get them in the right spots. Once the glue set, I can kind of spread them out and do what I want with them. Hot, hot on my glove. Okay. And then I think the last thing I was planning on doing, like I said, I can. I don't need to fuss with them on camera, but. I can kind of spread them all out and just have fun with it. I think that one goes there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And then I think the last thing I was going to attempt to see if it would even make a difference or not. Is take, maybe I'll start with some gray ink. But maybe I have to go to black because I already have black on here. Oh, here's a black one. And my little stamper. I don't have any of the fancy felt stampers is all I got. And normally I have little stamp letters that I get in the dollar Michaels bin. You guys have seen me use it on polymer clay. If I'm going to put my name on the back, I would just stamp my name on here. Or you can put it on the back, whatever you want to do. Darken these edges up a little bit. I mean, you can darken it up under the lace if you want to, but I've also was doing a little bit on the lace. Because just why not? I'm allowed to. And I'll cut that even too. that right up okay let's take a peek at it it's different it's definitely different it's definitely definitely different I wish the color showed up in real life or on camera as it does in person all the shimmer that is on it oh, maybe I still feel like I need something over here when these dry all the way, I do think I'm going to glue in, either in or out, some of this. I do think that will tie that side to that side, like around the eye. So you can really get this stuff to move. It's pretty flexible. I think I'm going to do that when the, when the, that dries. So I can mess around with over here. Yeah, I'm just putting some of this stuff on here. I like the way it's looking. <laughs> just trying to get the shiny part to stand outwards. 
So I went on top of like the crease line there and then I went, but I'm going to go below it here. I don't know why, it's just because what I did. That's what I felt like doing. And I think that's just going to add a little something to this side. But not make it the dominant side. Is that a little crooked there? If I really want to, I could pull that up, but... I don't know if I want to. Oh, let me grab my snippers here. Honestly, I'm not using snippers, I'm using nail clippers type things, which obviously does not work as well. Okay, I'll have to pull all these little fuzzy things off, but I think that will work. I think that gives a little something on this side. What do you think? You might say no. I don't know. We all have different opinions. So I think it's done. I really do. I think it came out pretty neat. I think one of my nieces will like it. It's definitely fun. <clears throat> For sure. I'll give, probably give that to one of my nieces. Why not? Bling does not bling on camera, but in real life, it's really sparkly. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.